Hello again, Drew the Wireless Nerd here, and I am wrapping up Next Work 2019 with Juniper. This was a uh, pretty fun show. It's my first time being here, so I really approached this from that mentality. I wanted to make sure I gave it the complete opportunity to either amaze me or totally disappoint me. Um, it didn't disappoint me, which was good. Um, I had a great time. Went to a lot of sessions today. Um, my first day that was here was really focused on the networking field day. Uh, the Tech Field Day event, so we got some really cool experience talking to people. We've got some exclusive, you know, kind of one-on-one -on -one sessions with some of the, the MIST team as well as the Juniper team to dig a little bit deeper into some of the products than I think what they do on a, on a normal day-to-day -day basis. And all those videos are posted online at uh, techfieldday.com, so you can see everything that we got to see uh, that Monday. We spent Tuesday with the keynote, and then Tuesday was a great learning day, walking around and understanding a little bit more about Juniper, what they do, diving into their products, understanding what they are, understanding what their roadmap is, and how all of it works together. And I think the thing that stood out to me was, before I got here, I was really curious about how this company, Juniper, that I've only really known as an end user, um, you know, and not even an end user of their equipment, but someone who's data, you know, and traffic goes across their systems all across the internet. I didn't really know too much about them. I've never been hands-on with them. I've never used their equipment. Um, and then how is this company that acquired this other company that I know pretty well, which is Mist Systems, how are these two worlds going to combine? Because the story that Mist has about AI for IT is incredible. You know, it's a great machine learning uh, story. It's a great artificial intelligence story. And it's really cool at breaking down, you know, a user flow and understanding where the problems are and, and how to quickly resolve those problems so that users have a, an incredible guest experience or a, you know, a client experience. And how does that apply to a huge networking, you know, switch and route and, and firewall security company? How does all that like play into each other? And I was curious as to what the advantages would be from an outcome perspective for you know, me as an end user or for clients that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think I learned a lot about that. What I would say is that some of the big takeaways there are that there's really this clear vision, this clear thread that goes all the way from the end user connected to a device all the way up to, you know, where their data is going. And as it traverses the Juniper network, um, you know, whether it's using the SD-WAN product or using the switching product or using the Wi-Fi product, Whatever it is, they have a way to start to understand what that journey looks like and how to make sure that it's the best journey from end to end. And from a cost perspective, you know, I understand that their pricing is a little, even a little bit better than some of the competitors out there, which is really cool. Um, so it's affordable, it's usable. Uh, but then on top of that, the education component stood out to me immensely. You know, I didn't know this, having you know, no knowledge of Juniper. But what they have with their open learning initiative, giving people the ability to, to consume all of their learning materials and, and look at the training online and go through the training and answer the questions and take the practice exam. And if you score over 70% on the practice exam, you get a free test voucher for a Pearson View testing center so you can get certified and it doesn't cost you anything but your time. To me, that tells an incredible story for an end user or for someone that I'm selling this product to because I really dislike the model of spending a lot of money on a piece of equipment, spending a lot of money on ongoing maintenance and licensing, and then having to spend an additional ton of money just to figure out how to really make it work and get the most out of it. I hate that that you have to go through all of that and get all these certifications that cost thousands of dollars just to be able to properly use a piece of equipment. I think that that is one of the worst models uh, ever made, and it's a model that so many people are stuck in today. And by Juniper allowing you to do that, that is such a huge selling point for me. And it's really changed the way that I look at this company where, you know, they can do, they check all the boxes of all the equipment and they check all the boxes of all the services and technologies. But what they do, I think a little bit differently is they make that available so that you can really get to business and get to work faster. Um, so, you know, all in all, I think the show was really good. It was eye opening for me. Like I said, having, having never been through this, there were some really cool things that I had some great side conversations and I just left a training session where I got to hear about how, um, 
in the upcoming weeks, there's going to be an announcement, hopefully, with MIST. We're talking about ultra-wideband and location services. They're not saying that they're going to include an ultra-wideband chip in, in a radio or anything yet, which, you know, fingers crossed, that'll come. But they're saying not only are they looking at the market and they're watching it very closely, but they also talked about partnerships uh, where you can take an ultra-wideband piece of equipment and plug it into a MIST access point uh, of some sort. So I don't know what that looks like, but I'm excited to see that that's where they're going, especially since I've got one of those chips in the iPhone 11. So it'll be really great to see that. I was really hoping to hear something about 802.11mc and doing the uh, you know tracking via round trip time. I was, I was hoping to see that, uh, but I didn't hear anything about that. Some of the other stuff that I learned, um, you know, or was about the announcement they made around the artificial intelligence and Marvis being enabled on the switching product line. So that was really neat. Um, I definitely want to go home and get a switch <laughs> and figure out how to make all these things work together because I think I just want to see a lot of this in action. And one of the things I learned also about the education component is that they have an entire sandbox called VLab that you can get online and you can. You can either fire up any of the individual products. The access points aren't on there yet, but you can fire up, fire up any of the individual products and then they even have pre-built scenarios. So you can go in there and see what it would look like and how to configure it. And those those uh, lab environments shut themselves down after three hours and you can build as many as you want. But you know, all in all, I think that this was a, this was a great show. I had a great time. Um, you know, I got to learn a lot. I hope I, I was able to share some of that with, with anyone who's watching. And, you know, it made me excited about where technology is going from a networking perspective and how it's evolving. And it's not a story that I've heard in a lot of other places. You know, there's, there's other vendors that have some of these components, but that's not really where they're putting the emphasis. You know, you have a lot of people that are focusing on the edge and, you know, every kind of every major group is now saying edge, edge, edge. But they're not talking about the experience component of it and how to make the edge experience acceptable to end users so that they can take advantage of all of the data that needs to be processed on the back end. So it was great to hear the emphasis uh, that Juniper's putting on, on user experience and making the networks self-driving and automated so that the network administrators can focus on the things that they need to focus on, the big problems instead of all the little things. So like I said, overall it was a great show. Uh, I had a fantastic time. I hope I get invited to come back out here for it. Uh, make sure you uh, go to techfieldday.com and look at the video, watch the videos that we, you know, that were the showcases uh, that we had our first day here. And so, you know, hopefully it'll open your eyes about some of the products and services that they have, their SD-WAN product, their Contrail product, and of course their Mist Wireless product. So from Juniper Next Work uh, 2019, I am out of here and I will talk to y'all soon. Hopefully I'll run into some of you at the next show. Uh, don't even know what the next show is that I'll be at, but I will definitely be at WLPC in February, the Wireless Land Professionals Conference in February uh, in Phoenix. If you don't know anything about it, Google WLPC and look it up and register to attend. Anyway, so from Vegas, uh, have a wonderful day or evening or morning, wherever you are, and thanks for listening.